So, hi guys, it's me here, Herlanda. Um, I wanted to make a video just to kind of be like, what's up, uh, how's it going and such. I want to thank everybody that has um, thought of me or, you know, attempted to message me or message me because I know I hadn't been able to really get back to people um, simply because I just been my mind has just been elsewhere I'm trying to sit this up so I can I don't know I can't and I ended up throwing out my tripod by accident I could have easily wiped that off I don't know what I was thinking when I did that um, yeah I'm starting to kind of settle in uh, to my current living situation. Uh, we have a futon back there now. I have a little plastic thing that I'm using as a dresser. And um, Mr. Nolan is back there. And this is our nice comfy air mattress. It's actually very comfortable. And I got a few things for the cats. Their little box. They have... Um, uh, scratch posts and we have TV and stuff so we're kind of settling in um, but I am safe and dry but it doesn't change the fact that I'm I miss my house and um, I am just trying to come to terms with uh, what we're gonna have to go through Getting our house back to the way it was. Um, I'm sure at some point it's going to be really nice. Um, like I said, we we have flood insurance, but we just have to uh, get some things typed up and sent out to our adjuster so we can get the ball rolling with getting some checks in so we can start the process of getting our house um, ready to roll. Um We've still been having stormy weather here, raining and just all kind of ooky craziness. I don't have my glasses on. I was trying to take a nap. But, um, uh, yeah, so I have some videos going up from a few days ago. We, we just now got um, internet over here, uh, so now we can use the Wi-Fi because uh, we were really sucking up all of our data. Um, yeah, so, uh, I just don't really know what to say, guys. It's just, I'm really just trying to find myself again. Just like, I don't know, I've just been uprooted from what I've known for the last six years, which I'm mean, speaking of my home. You know, you know, your home is your home. And when you have to, and when you have to be uprooted so abruptly and, without any warning or any preparation it kind of does something to you um i don't know what the cats are doing say no hey get out of the cabin anyway um if anybody has any remedy for um anybody out there that has pets that have hardwood floors and tile you know, no carpet anywhere. Um, you guys have any suggestions on fur control? Like, I was used to our carpets, you know, the fur would just kind of chill on the carpet. And I'd vacuum it up each um, uh, each weekend. But, I mean, I'm, I see fur balls all the time. They're just floating. There's this fur always floating everywhere. So, I love my cats, but... I have swiffered and mopped and swept. The litter is is just it gets everywhere. I just I, oh my god, it's it's crazy. But um mentally like I just really don't know. I just feel so I don't know, just like I said, I've just been uprooted and just torn out of my situation and just thrown into something else and I'm just, I don't know, just, I'm tired and sad and 
we haven't been able to eat right. Hopefully next weekend. Um, uh, this weekend I'm going to cook. And um, hopefully for next week, you know, I'll be able to get back on on my grind as far as, you know, getting my salads and stuff. Because i tell you one thing. Um, with, um, you know, with dealing with um, a disastrous, you know, type of... <clears throat> um tragedy tragic situation that I've been going through like I find me and my Cedric both we just found ourselves just going to the one thing that comforted us before was food so like I just had like no willpower as far as food goes but at the beginning we didn't have any means to cook or you know it was just we were constantly you know working on the house throwing stuff out getting things together we just didn't have time to cook anything so it was fast food so now i'm somewhere settled we've made groceries and i can cook and stuff here but i just feel like i'm just trying to um i don't know hide my sadness by just eating like uh my willpower has like kind of diminished um because i was just now yeah, excuse me. I don't know what's wrong with me. I was just now trying to get back. You know, I was I was only one week in, going back to the gym, getting back, eating my salads. I I'd only done that one week. It was only one week, and all this happened. Um, school has been pushed back. We're probably gonna be in, it's in school till like mid June. That's gonna suck, but hopefully you know we'll be able to come back later like <clears throat> towards like the end of august that'd be kind of cool um so we'll get a little more time off um so that that'd be interesting that's that's gonna be different because i've never um been still working in june like we're always off that second to last week of august and then the last week of August, June, July, you know, we're off. So it's going to get kind of pushed back a little bit. I'm trying my best, like, um, just to cope with what's going on. Um, I'm alive. Um, have to go back to work next Thursday. I took Cedric to work today. Um, like you guys know, my car is completely totaled. His truck has been in and out of the shop because water got into his um, transmission. Um, so it should be in the shop right now. My car is still rotting at home under the car porch. Uh, and, uh, we went and bought a car. It's just a used, uh, Scion, Scion hatchback something, uh, 2008. I bought that yesterday so we can have something to get around in because with our, uh, insurance, we have, um, uh, 30 days of rental, but with everybody losing everything, it's been a nightmare to try to get a rental car. You would basically have to go to Texas at this point to get a rental car. Anything in the surrounding areas around Baton Rouge, like the car, there are no cars, there's nothing. So we just had to go buy something and I just put it on a credit card and we're gonna hopefully pay it off uh, quite quickly. Due to the situation, uh, like I say, I'm no longer debt free. You guys know how excited we were about being debt free and everything, but it's not a huge um, um, uh, charge. It's something we'll be able to. It was like I say, it was a used car. We got it for a pretty good deal. But um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I'm, I just just trying to figure out who I am, where where. Where do I go from here and just, um, like I said, I don't know, guys. I just haven't really been, I don't know. I, I just, I, I kind of skim, um, YouTube and I kind of see everybody else still enjoying their babies and, you know, doing their theme Thursdays and doing their haul videos and having fun with their babies and I, I just kind of just skim over and 
I don't really watch any videos because it just kind of makes me sad. You know, I don't have my babies anymore. They're all gone. All of their things are gone. Most of their clothes are gone. I was able to save only the clothes that were up high enough. Um, uh, and, you know, that's about it, you know. So, I don't know. It's just kind of depressing and... I just wish I was like you guys. I wish I was still at my house. I wish I wish this never happened. I wish I still had all my babies and I wish I just wish I could go back to the way things were, but I can't and it's just really sucky and sad, but that's it. I have to go pick up my husband now. Uh we have to share a car. Uh we're hoping and praying that his truck can get fixed. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. But I'm out of here. Mwah. Peace. Bye-bye. I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a good day. Bye, guys.